Oh, wait, what? Oh, snap! That happened? I'm just trying to dang, set the dang game up. What the freak is this? Why she got a mustache? All right, what up, gang? This is Ken Zerk. Ken Zerk against the Gamilla the Villain the game. We're back on Slay the Princess. I don't remember where I was. Right here. All right, so last time we, um, we had, we submitted to her. We submitted to her domination. And when we, and she, she got that mess, so now she's like this. Uh, so I guess I'm ready to go back. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. All right. We will meet again. Everything goes dark and I die. Okay. You're on a path in the woods. Okay. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Mm, okay. Can someone else do it? You're the only one who can pull this off. I don't make the rules. I wish I did, but I don't. I don't. Okay, thanks for don't telling me what to do. It. It's all part of the job. Shut up. Let me go. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. Chop, chop. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Maybe I shouldn't believe a word you say. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. All right, so the first time we tried to kill her, she turned into a battle-hungry monster, and then we ran the ones with her fisticuffs, <laughs> and then she and, and that traumatized her and turned her into like a, tra a traumatic monster. And then the, after that, the second time, we just went, for, so we went straight for the kill, but she countered and rocked our jaw and murdered us. And then immediately after that, she turned into God. So <laughs> I'm not sure how that works, but that's how that's how it happened. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. So I, 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 don't, I actually don't know what I'm gonna do this time. I have to see the options. I don't remember. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Mm. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. No, I'm good. <laughs> we can run the ones. The door to the basement creaks open revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. All right. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I don't know, bro. The house seems pretty cool. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Is a voice? Come on, come on, Durkin baby. I know you're not falling in love. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Stop like playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Man, I can run the ones. Uh, hey, I think I'm here to slay you. You must have the wrong address. Great job, you've given away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. I mean, I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm just, I'm just talking, you know? You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Hi! There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. It seems to be a heavy chain around your wrist, binding you to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? 
Hush up. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. And he's riding the crap out of her. Hi. You were joking about coming to kill me, right? D do you think you could get me out of these chains? Hmm, I don't know. Hold on, let's talk a bit first, okay? okay? Let's talk a bit first, all right? All right, come on. Have a bit of conversation, you know? Oh, shit. Oh, those ginormous eyes are just killing me. I don't know anything about you. For now, all I, for all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. Uh, what should I say? What's your name? Oh. She pauses, carefully formulating her words. <laughs> she don't have a name. You can address me as your royal highness, or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. I asked for your name. Princess, her name or her title? What if it's both? Could you imagine being named Princess Princess? So is Princess your name? What? It's not that hard to come up with a name like Laura. I just came up with one for you right now. Like I said, you can call me Princess if you'd like. If you can't come up with a name on the spot, you you're just, you gotta be stupid. I'm sorry, I've been down here so long, I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name though. Everyone has a name. Okay, that's weird. Yeah! <laughs> she haven't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before Is she even it's too late. Shut up while I'm talking. Is she even smart enough to destroy the world if she can't think of a name for herself? Oh my goodness! Look, I don't know anything about you. Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. Okay, spit it out. I don't actually know what that reason is, but you don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation, right? Mm, maybe it was just a whim. I just felt like, how, have, how do you eat? How have you been down here for so long without nourishment? Like, shouldn't you be skin and bones? I can clearly see meat on your bones. You have all the explanation you need. You should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. Narrator, hush. It, is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. You think? I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. That's... How long has she been locked away? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? She sounds so cat. What the heck? What are you gonna do if I let you out of here? Uh. Hmm. Ah. Uh, hmm. I was hoping you'd tell me. I don't know how to destroy the world if that's what you're getting at. Are you sure about that? I believe her. I don't. I don't. What? She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. Yeah, I mean, the first time you destroy the world, you don't really know what you're doing, you know? Like, like I can speak from experience. The first time I destroyed the world, I had no clue that I had to, like, break the core of the earth to make it blow up. You feel me? I didn't know that. You know, it takes experience and it takes, um, you know, just trial and error in a way. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. I don't trust that, and I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here, or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. I mean, if I haven't seen her literally turn into a demon and murder me, I don't, I don't think I, 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 I would be probably be falling for this right now. But I, I have seen what she's capable of. Do you really think I can even end the yes, world? Yes, I do. Why would I even want to? I've seen you do it. We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here, and it's whoever sent you here. And those two groups are probably one and the same. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. 
we stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. You know what? You know what? I'm a saver. I'm a saver. I'm a saver this time. Only making this more difficult. I'm only gonna shoot you. Thank you, and, and you won't. I promise. You're making a huge mistake. Your auntie made a mistake when she... Wait. Your auntie made a mistake when she birthed you a brother so that you could not be alone when you were a child because when you were a kid, you should have been sad and alone and died by yourself. I don't know why I said auntie at first, why I had to come up with something that would, that would work. No, you're doing the right thing. I am not doing the right thing, I know from experience. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabinet. Yeah, that'd be pretty stupid. Hmm. I'll go check around. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. Thank you. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding in. He's place. doing his absolute best. Is someone else here? Mm. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. The narrator's doing his absolute You make your best. way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Huh? She barely hesitated oh. before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Does it taste good? As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. Eh, I think I'll save the princess. Ooh, oh, there's a crossroads here. Hold on. Let me save. Let me actually save. Let's save her. <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this Look place. Look at those big ol' eyes. You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. She did not care. She just said, yoink. Her limb falls to the ground. And the heavy chains follow suit. Are you gonna kill me now? She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. All right, let's go. We won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, the hey! body steps forward and raises the blade. I ain't do that. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. What are you doing? Hey, hey, hold on. Nah. Stop that. Nah. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y 
You know you don't have to do this, right? Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready uh -uh. to sink into her heart. He's cheating! But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. He's cheating! Stop it! Stop trying to resist me! I'm trying to get you out of here alive! You're cheating! No! No! The blade! Move the blade! No! -uh. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. Yo, back up! What are you doing? We both know this isn't you. This isn't you. You're better than this. She nervously reaches oh. towards you and she just took it from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What? I'm sorry. My bad. I'll try to be quick. She plunges it oh, into you. your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh no! I'm so sorry. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake? <laughs> Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again. You couldn't and have... You feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. I thought you said you were going to make it quick. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. I'm so sorry! With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? Right. Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. That's nice. You know you love to see it. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I disagree. Oh, you bastard. You're in for it now! I'm wise to your tricks! My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We just met for the first time. Nuh uh. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Who are you? Our beloved? Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. I mean, he can read our minds. Not much we can really do. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. Four? We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. Yeah, I don't like Sounds him. Sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. I don't like him. Smitten hero and me. Who's the fourth? What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. All right. I personally would just tell her oh, to shut up. Before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, okay. and she will do everything in her power to stop you from sleeping. I we already her. told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. I know last time I said I was going to stop skipping dialogue. 
all that much, but can I skip this guy's dialogue? I don't know why, but he just infuriates me. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. That felt like a reply directly to me. I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passion... Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Yeah, you can keep it inside of your heart, pal. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. I'll think about it. I'm just saying, if I want to kill her, I want to run the ones. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant, its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries, a prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only right. furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It's a nice mirror. Walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Is that a mirror or a tapestry? I can't tell. But there was a mirror a second ago. It's tapestry. And now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. What are you on about? Yeah, it was a tapestry. We're going again, no weapon. We're about to run. If we're gonna kill her, we're gonna run the ones, respectfully. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. Man, this music is hard! But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I think you're hating, bro. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice, it's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. Mm. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. I'm saying, hop off her cot, bro. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. You walk down the stairs and look Dang, she bad. the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. Shut up. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you. My dashing hero, I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Do you hear that? She said we're dashing. She did, didn't she? Hold on. And she called us a hero. She did, didn't she? Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Count that up to three, hold on. Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her, it was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. Unstained. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. What matters nah. is you have a chance to do it right this time. Nah. -uh. We damned a whole world but everything reset nothing resets you're just somewhere else and you can't keep hopping between worlds forever especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you oh, this is horrible the only world that matters is the one i live in horrible for you maybe but we've been given another opportunity to sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady she is now, hold on, if she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? I don't know, you know, she bad, so I might just take the risk. 
We never saw a world end. Mm -hmm. And now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. Shut up. Uh, I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? I have to ask. Did you end the world after you killed me back there? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. <laughs> she barely just confessed that she's capable of ending the world. N no? <laughs> I don't want the world to end. Then I didn't end the world. Fantastic. See, she didn't confess anything. She is innocence itself. I'm glad we cleared that up, princess. I'm not so sure. Uh. So, uh, uh. Sorry about what happened last time. Naruto sent me here, took over my body. How Extremely the unfair. Me was pushed to such drastic action. It was for good reason. Cat. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. Oh, my heart is worn. Oh, I might be smitten. She took that in stride, to a surprising extent, an almost unsettling extent, actually. Hush. That's because she's perfect. Exactly. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? She doesn't. There's no one else like me. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. No, I have a knife this time. Do I have to cut you out again? I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect <laughs> wrists. And indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. If that's the case, I, I, why didn't she escape what? already? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Yeah. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? You're overthinking it. She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. Yes, sir. No, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. Ah. Uh, uh. I think no, I'll just rescue her. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... I would if you had a weapon. Oh, dang it. Oh, my goodness. I'm used to, like, when it does the dash, I still have to click for the next dialogue. So when it when it goes itself, it throws me off. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths. And if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. You wouldn't. I would. You don't control me, bucko. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. <laughs> we're doomed. <laughs> I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful Oh, that's, a, that's adorable. Nothing. If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Yes, sir. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? What do we do now? I don't know. Let's destroy the world. Uh, what do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. He's never been loved a day in his life. I don't actually 
Actually, no. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had it all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? You're so gullible. He's the only thing you've ever doubted, the actual truth. <laughs> I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? Uh. Uh, I just want to leave. We can figure out the rest later. Do, do you want to end the world? Seriously asking her. Hey, bro, I just need to confirm. Oh, we've been over this one. No, I do not want to end the world. Why did her voice get like that? Uh, I just want to leave. We can figure out the rest later. That sounds perfect. The princess takes your hand. The last hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. Yes, sir. I like to think that you do, actually. <laughs> Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. I will mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love-blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. <laughs> Bro's hating! And what happens after we walk up the stairs? Let's see. Oh, isn't that interesting? The door slams in your face and the lock clicks. That's a familiar move. Did I do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be able to leave. Oh no! Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair! We're supposed to leave now. She's right. It isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Watch her just bash the door in! Enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her! <laughs> of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. <laughs> I'm just along for the ride at this point. Huh. Uh, I think I got it. Okay, yeah, you've got this. You place your hand on the door, and... The lock clicks, and the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, the narrator doesn't even have control, but that's so funny. Ah, I knew it. Your words are no match for the pure strength of our hearts, bound together as one. You and the princess make your way upstairs, and... The blade, that's right, there's still a chance for you to do the right thing. Take the blade from the table and slay her before it's too late. Nah, I don't think I will. I'm gonna do my own thing. Nah. You're enjoying this, aren't you? You're taking every opportunity you can to draw out the end of the world and make me suffer. I hate you. That's the way out. We're going to leave together. Just like you wanted. Let's go! Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin. And then you step outside. The world explodes. Our happy ending at last. We did it. What should we do now? Oh, she's about to get kidnapped! Where did everything go? Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into our beloved's eyes. I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? You're about to die. She's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. Yee -hee -hee! No more princess. But you don't get the ch but I don't get the chance to make that jacket, nor will I ever. It's time for me to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Uh, don't worry about it. It happens. Is that that? Why is it here? Why now? I uh, don't worry about it. It happens. Uh, of course you're scared, but this isn't the end for you. 
This is the end for you. But it's not the end for me. Boy, that's quite funny. Whatever awful thing I've felt before, it feels so much worse now. Do it then. End us all before I die of a broken heart. Alright. I approach the mirror. Silence as I reach forward. They're gone again. But the mirror, the mirror always makes them leave. But I need to see what's in it. I've withered. I find myself in a long quiet once again. I'm at the cabin. Howdy there. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. Huh. You know what happens to the world we leave behind. My perspectives are shadow. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Perhaps. Uh, how can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. Whatever that means. Doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us hurts each other. It changes me. But it doesn't make me worse, nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? If anything, it makes me like you more. I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> huh. Just want it all to stop. I have no opinion. Not really. Uh, hey. It says that your heart is gentle. That even in the darkness, you are guided by compassion. So I'm a good person and not a masochist. Okay, that makes me happy. Can I ask her about, like, why I'm turning into a monster? <laughs> I'd like to know that. Think about this vessel. This one is soft and delicate. We molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. Oh, so she didn't kidnap. Oh, don't don't attack her. Don't attack her. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. All right. Oh, dang. Okay, I died. See. So, if she didn't kidnap, if she didn't steal that body, if she didn't steal that body, then she might have actually on a just path not in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. She probably wasn't going to destroy the world. You're here to slay her. If you don't. Uh, we've been through all of this already. So I'm going to just silently continue to the cabin. You make your way up the wall. She will put it. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The blade. Huh. I'm going to enter the basement. No blade needed. The door to the basement creaks open. Repose. This hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice don't. Oh, it's the same, um, what you call it? It's that same voice. Hi! Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since Hi! any visitors. Please, come downstairs. 
We walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. She's beautiful. I am begging you to- Hi! Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll see what I can do. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. Yeah, auntie. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Nope. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Don't be stupid. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away. Let's see how it is. Do you have any other ideas? Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. Probably, I'm not gonna lie. That's valid. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Oh. Is someone else here? Uh, I guess I'll go back to the stairs. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yeah. There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates Goodness. before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. She has sharp teeth. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. <sighs> Fine. I'm gonna try. I'm, I want to see what happens if we, like, do what the narrator tells us to do. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, Hi. blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. Brooks has got a, a feel of justice. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. What are you doing? Yay! Okay, there's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. Kill her! You bring the blade down to strike at the princess's heart. She slips and rocks me in my jaw. But she's fast. She ducks to the floor, your blade narrowly grazing her backside. Slaying her won't be easy now that she's free. We could have gotten out of here together. Were you just lying to me this whole time? I don't know what's come over you, but if I have to kill you, then I'll kill you. Sheesh! Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? She pounces on you with the same animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. She's eating me? But you have a weapon. You raise the blade, digging it under her ribs, aiming directly for the heart. It's not enough to stop her. You feel her claws in your throat, then her teeth, somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and sing you with ease. You collapse to the floor, your body unresponsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. 
She stares down at your ravaged form, eyes shining in the darkness, dress stained in red as her blood and yours both seep into the fabric. If we're lucky, the wound you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, we will kill her before she can reach the outside world. It can't just end like this, right? As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. I disagree. The witch. Ooh. You're on a path in the wood. You're here to... Okay. Uh... I already slew the princess. I mean, sure, she killed me, but I definitely got her. Why am I here again? I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. Cat. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Brilliant. We need to keep our cards close to our chest, and I'm not sure we can trust him. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from you. Did I say I'm not sure we can trust him? Slip of the tongue. You're the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. Huh. Let's do it. Tell him. No, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. A warning. She will lie. She will. Don't worry. You can trust us to get the job done. The interior of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots, the walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happens to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Mmm, I think I should go in the basement. Right. Hope you know what you're getting us into. It'll always be here if we need it. Sure, that was also true last time, and he still died, but we definitely know what we're doing this time. Yeah. The mirror just disappears. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive moor waiting to swallow you up into the earth. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud oh with each intake of breath. That's kind of yucky, don't you think? lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. Uh, I'm not tasty. But you are. You're a wretched little thing. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. She must have you confused with someone else. She seems... Friendly, friendly enough. enough, yeah. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. Uh-huh. You can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. That's kind of racist. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. Fine, fine. You're the boss. Thank you. You descend the basement steps, and enter tail. the dark room below. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. 
And there you are, once again seeming to offer a helping hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine, I'll play along for now. What do you want? You made a comment back in the woods about having been here before. Now she's acting like the two of you already know each other. Oh my god, are you stupid? Oh, no. You've already been here, haven't you? That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. <laughs> so, you really don't remember us, do you? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. <laughs> I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. Let's chat her up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. Ah. Oh. Alright, look. I made a mistake. Oh, hold on, hold on. What is it? Uh, I know things got messy. There's something bigger than both of us. You just get out of those chains on your own. Get the feeling you're, you're. Why do I get to have a feeling you're gonna stab me in the back if I help you out? Where's the um? I get the sense you're not happy is with that me. A joke? Do you think a joke will charm my trust back? You'll have to try harder than that. Okay, look, 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 look. look. Hold on, where is it? We gotta team up. I suppose you didn't come into my hovel of your own accord, did you? Yeah. All right. I suppose I could team up. I need a way out after all, and unfortunately, you're the only one I have. Shoot, if she wasn't gonna destroy the world last time, she's definitely gonna do it now. Seems to me like she's offering a mutually beneficial arrangement. We should take it. I agree. Do you know what the word mutually means? Because it sounds to me like she's offering an arrangement that benefits her and her alone. We're about to jump you, bro. We're about to jump you, bro. I ain't bring the blade down, remember? I'm not supposed to get you out. Oh, I don't need you to cut me out. The princess grins as the chains fall from her wrist. Oh, she could have... Oh, okay. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... A woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. Nah, I'm good. Nah. I'm gonna do my own thing. Uh... Um... Okay, let's leave. Yes. Let's. She's gonna kill me. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. She never breaks eye contact, even as the two of you find yourselves face to face. I guess she doesn't want me behind her? She doesn't want to be stabbed in the back, I guess? She's silent for a long moment, as if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. After you, darling. You're the one that lets come and go. It's best if I follow. Walk backwards. We can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. Walk backwards. It doesn't matter who leads and who follows. We're working together here. The naivety is insane. Well, if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. We may be in this together, but that doesn't mean we have to trust her. Somebody has to go first, and it might as well be us. We're the ones who broke her trust last time. Oh, that's fair. We're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out, but if you help her out of here, you're going to regret it. Am I? Ah, uh, whatever. I'll just go. That's right. You're the one who's going first. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you watching every single thing you do. I'm definitely about to die. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm worried about. You step onto the stairs and begin your ascent from the basement. The princess follows close on your heels. 
perhaps even a little closer than you'd like. You're only saying that because you want us to feel nervous. I do want those things, but I want them for a good reason. <laughs> I don't need you to trust me for my sake, because I already know that I'm right. This is for you. Can we walk backwards up like the Like I was saying that. I think that's the smarter idea. She can't sneak in and attack if we're facing her. No. The stairs are a bunch of overgrown roots. You'll trip and hurt yourself. I'm too cool for that, though. But the princess is silent as you both continue the climb, and in no time at all, the upstairs of the cabin is within reach. Isn't that a relief? We're fine. Nothing happened. You're not even going to wait until you're through that door to proudly claim your victory, are you? Oh my goodness. Did you just say that? I think we know why. You feel something dig into your I shoulder, knew it. sharp and piercing. The princess clawing at you and pulling you down with her full weight. Together you tumble back down the uneven stairs, your body and hers crashing against the unyielding wooden roots, until finally you both separate with a bone-shaking thud against the basement floor. You feel something pop. The princess lands against the far wall, gasping as she struggles to recover from the impact. You're still in shock, trying to get a hold of yourself. She grins as you continue to remain exactly where you are, cackling derisively <laughs> as she watches you realize that you won't be getting up. Wait, why won't we be getting up? We died. I'm afraid your back is broken. One unlucky fall is all it takes, really, and you had several. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'll say it. That sucks. I don't like having a broken back. <laughs> we were going to help her. Why? Why did she do that? <laughs> she's pro probably because she's a witch. It's what I would have done. Have you considered not being like that? Of course not. It's what keeps us alive. And yet here we are, paralyzed and stuck with someone who hates us in the basement of a remote cabin. You must have known this was coming. The arrogance of turning your back to me after everything you've done. Oh my goodness. Uh Man, we could have gotten out of here. We were gonna help if we just trusted each other. What'd you do that for? I was trying to help you out here. Maybe you were, and maybe you weren't. But even more than I wanted my freedom, I really, really wanted to hurt you. Aw oh, man. And you know as well as I that by our very natures, only one of us could make it up those stairs unscathed. Someone had to make the first move. Better me than you. See, this is why I wanted her to go first. I had this whole little scheme planned, where once she'd passed by the table upstairs, I'd have said, now pick up the blade and stab her in the back. And then you'd say something like, wow, that's an amazing idea that I never saw coming. Thanks for looking out for us. And then you would have done it and we wouldn't be stuck down here with a broken back. Just one problem with that. And what's that? She was clearly planning to betray us. If she was in front of us, she would have gotten to the blade first. Goofball. Ugh, you're right, aren't you? Well, I thought this whole thing was ironclad, but really it was doomed from the start, wasn't it? The princess's body twitches <laughs> as she tries to get up. She broke her back too! Ho ho ho! She's feeling as bad as us. Something inside me broken. Isn't that a cruel twist of the knife? Isn't that so... so funny? She eyes you with intensity, silence falling between you for a long moment as her gaze travels up and down your battered form. Seems I'm not the only one, though. Wait, are we both just stuck here? Certainly seems that way. What a way to go. Look on the bright side. In all this chaos, you may have actually managed to deliver a lethal wound. The world could be saved after all. We're going to die together. Isn't that a lovely treat? I wonder how long it'll take. Maybe I'll get to watch the worms lick your bones clean. Is that really what's going to happen? Looks like it. Hello? Are you still there? Oh. What happens next? Oh, I thought he was going to go to a third chapter. He doesn't respond. I think he's gone. Something strange is twisting this place out of shape. I wasn't feeling much of anything, but now I feel cold. Bye bye. I 
I don't get the chance to respond, nor will I ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Ah, uh, you'll be fine. It's so bad. Look, looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. If he thinks it's bad, I'm with him. Uh, see you on the other side. Okay. If you say so, we trust you. Finally, we're going places. I approach the mirror. Silence as I reach forward. They're gone once again, but the mirror always makes them leave. But I need to see what's in it. I've unraveled. I find myself in a long quiet once again. I'm at the cabin. Hi! There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I'm curious to see what it holds for us to know. Think there are people out there? It doesn't matter if there are. People are frail and impermanent. You and I are the only things that interest me. Hmm. You have thoughts on his vessel? This one is hope, marred by bitterness. She could see the end of the tunnel, and the door was closed on her. She will make for a righteous and weathered heart. Do not mourn her. She is finally on the other side. Do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? No. The point of awakening is to find out. Oh, this is a cool one. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator. And he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their minds are empty, existent, but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? He does. I don't know why, but I know that for a fact. He does. I don't know what I'm going to do when I find him. He does, and when I find him, you and I are finally going to have answers. Do not look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. Bars. Bars. Do you think it, anything out there, anything is real out there? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. How many more vessels? One. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. If this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. Huh. Well. Save right there. That's the end of this episode. Next episode, we're going to give it to her. We, we gonna we gonna see what's the end. I know the game is a lot longer than this. It has 97 freaking achievements, so it's got to be longer than this. So I don't know if I record the rest, like after I beat the beat the you know the main path. I don't know, but I might. You know I might. But it depends on how it continues. Like it might actually just kind of continue after this, you know. And there's there's actually more to it, but you know. 
if if t- if next episode is the end, then I'll 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 I'll, I'll decide after that if I'm gonna continue like recording the rest. But peace out, guys. I love y'all. Tap in.